Hi, today I'm going to talk about um, how to get a data science internship. Okay, so um, I've actually hired quite a few uh, data science interns um, and you know, so I thought I'd give some advice on people who are looking to get an internship, uh, a data science internship with a company. So I'm going to speak about what I look for and you know, especially when I, when I either I'm interviewing the person or I'm looking in their CV because um, from my experience this, this is um, sort of what I've uh, found that data science uh, interns need to have in order to get an internship. Um, so the first area, first thing that I look for is, uh, do you have a technical skill? Do you have something that will be useful to me? So, you know, even though you, for the internship would be great for you, you can put on your CV, help you get a job. As an employer, I also want, I would like something in return. You know, it's great to be altruistic and, and help out, but it'd be good to get something in return. Good to get interns who, who um, are useful or uh, prove to be useful and, and helpful, of course. So, like I said, the first thing I look for is, um, do you have a tool? Do you, are, you, are you a proficient in a tool? So can you program in R, Python, uh, SAS, SPSS, um, or can you use something, you know, uh, like Tableau or Power BI, or, or do you even know how to set up an AWS instance or a Microsoft Azure instance, okay? These kind of technical skills are really useful for me as an employer, so when I'm going through your CV or when I'm interviewing you, if these are the things that come out, that's really good, because then I'm thinking to myself, right, okay, if this person comes in, they can help me with this project and they can help me on this area, or it could be something that I want to do, but I've not had uh, the capacity in my current team to do, and this person coming in can help me uh, do something. It's great for you because then you get to practice that skill in a real world setting, and it's great for me because I can get to um, hire someone who uh, can help me with, with something that I'm potentially wanting to do or something I've been struggling with. So that's the first area. If you have a proficiency in a school a tool, that'd be really good, especially if you can if you can um, uh, sort of get started on day one and, and start doing stuff. Again, you don't have to be an expert on it, but just show that you're you're able to use that tool and you can um, get things done. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, the the second thing I sort of look for um, is some kind of domain. Um, experience okay um, and this can be anything from like even if you were a retail assistant when you were in college or university um, you know where you know you worked on a shop floor and the reason for that is uh, if you have some domain expertise and I, I have clients or I work in that sector um, then you know you coming in I'll be thinking actually you know what when I ask you a question you'll understand how the business works you'll understand uh, how the business makes money um, and that that is useful for me as an employer because then I'm thinking this person won't need to be uh, taught about that area they can come in and they'll have the basics about it yes I'll always have to um, imp um, uh, add to their knowledge, but that's great because as long as they've got the basics, I don't have to go back to the beginning, uh, we can just pick up from uh, where they are and, and carry on. So if you have some kind of domain expertise, that'd be really good, it'll stand out in your CV. Uh, and as a prospective employer, I'll be like, oh wow, this person's worked in retail, in media, in telco. Um, so they'll have an idea of how that business works and that's really great. The next area is um, interpersonal skills. Now this you know, may seem trivial to a lot of people, especially when they're starting off their career. They're like, you know, I've got, a, I'm qualified, I've got a degree or I've got a master's, I know how to use Python or R. Why do I need interpersonal skills? If I'm hiring someone to come into my team, even if it's for a few weeks, I need for that person to get on with the rest of the team. I don't have the time, especially as the, sometimes as a hiring manager, uh, well actually often as a hiring manager, I'm really the one who's going to be supervising you on a day-to-day -day basis. If you've coming in as an intern, you probably work with my, one of my team members or a couple of my team members, and I need you to get on. So I need someone who's got interpersonal skills, someone who's going to be able to uh, get on with the rest of my team, go, you know, go for a chat, go for coffee, go for lunch, uh, when COVID is over, hopefully. Um, so I need someone who's, who's going to be able to do that. And, you know, with interpersonal skills, you need good communication skills. You need good um, sort of relationship building skills um, so that you are, um, you know, getting on with the team. Uh, a for, I mean, A is, for, you know, for my benefit, but B also for your benefit. Because what I don't want to do is hire an intern and you're just sitting in the corner in your desk waiting for to, to, to get requests, okay, uh, to answer requests, sorry. Um, so, I, I, you know, what I really... Uh, one is someone to come in who will talk to people who say, look, hang on, uh, I'd love to help here, or they hear a conversation and they'll look, oh, in my university, we use this uh, Python pack, pa uh, package, or we use this R package to do um, uh, something, so, you know, maybe I can help. So I want someone who's going to be, not so you don't have to be extrovert, I don't mean someone who's that going and stuff, but someone who's just able to get on with other people, able to have a conversation, able to... Um, 
uh, you know, uh, communicate with the rest of the team so that they benefit from the experience, of the, from the opportunity to have this experience uh, as an intern, but also uh, at the same time uh, gets on with the team so they're not alienating members of my team or all of my team, okay? And that is quite important because um, as an employer, if I'm looking for interns, the last thing I want to do is someone to come in to cause more problems for me um, than, than give me uh, solutions. Um, so make sure that if you are interviewing or if you're writing your CV, show that you're a team player, show that you are willing to work with people, um, show that you are receptive to new ideas um, and things like that okay and then the final area that I look for is someone's willingness to learn uh, and the reason for that is if I get someone as an intern okay what I don't want you to leave is exactly with the same knowledge that you came in with you were just only interested in getting I work for so-and-so as an intern for two weeks two months one year whatever I, I, I don't want someone coming in just to say they did that I want someone to come in who then leaves whether it's at two weeks two months a year later with some kind of additional knowledge and skills that they picked up while working for me okay and the reason for that is you know i need to know that this internship has been a two-way relationship yes i've got value from you but i need to give make sure that you got value from this internship as well okay um, and that's quite important to me i'm not sure how important it's to other employers but i think if you can show in your cv um that you have a willingness to learn and that could be anything from you doing coursera or udemy courses uh, to doing a certain certification or even at university showing that you picked up certain skills um and or you're willing to learn that continual journey of wanting to always learn is quite important so if you can show that that'd be really good and it will also mean that as an employer like I said um, I'll, I'll think that when you leave you would have picked up skills and that would benefit your career as well okay well thank you again for listening to my video please do comment below um, and if you have any questions please do ask them also in the comment section um, please like my video and also please do subscribe to my channel thank you